Hello, my name is Rose Genskin, and I am a senior project engineer with Swinnerton Mass Timber. My name is Brendan Kelly. I'm a superintendent with Swinnerton Mass Timber. We're out here at the Portland Airport. The product that we are discussing today is the WB rod, which is what we used to help reinforce some of our glue lamp beams on site. So the way we arrived at using the SFS WB rod is really interesting. We have to go back to 2019 when we were in pre-construction for this project. The background on what we're using it for is we are producing 80 foot long by about six foot deep glue lamb beams and they're six and three quarters inches wide and they're first of their kind. So we have not ever manufactured beams this large. So the engineer had some concerns with wood splitting and the tension force on these beams and so we needed to reinforce the beams. And so originally we were using a fastener that was about four foot long and nine sixteenth inch in diameter and we had an abundance of these rods and we are having issues procuring this item. So we went and we did some research. We found these WB rods from SFS. We talked about it and we figured out we could use 5 8 inch diameter, which is a little bit larger. So we saved on material cost and also labor cost by going to this 5 8 rod versus the 9 16 Overall, it turned into almost thirty dollars to $40,000 of cost saving for the project, which is a huge value engineering item for us. And what we want to do is always save money for our owners. So my experience with installing these rods as a uh, it's an interesting one. You know, the difference between installing these rods versus a fully threaded fastener is the amount of torque that's needed to install them and, and the pre-drill process. So the really nice thing about the pre-drill process for these rods is having that, that drill bit with the extensions on it there, that you're able to kind of grow as you go. So you start with a shorter drill bit and then you kind of upgrade as you go through. So that way you're able to keep that rod going really straight, trying to run down the middle of a six and three quarter inch wide glue lamb beam with one of these rods. And at six feet, there is risk of that, that, that drill bit or the rod coming out the side of the beam. So having that flexibility of being able to use, you know, multiple different lengths of these, of these drill bits for the pre-drill was really helpful. The attachment that you have to the rod, the, the reverse threaded attachment, keeps really good bind on it so that you don't have the risk of stripping, um, you know, slipping off of a head versus a screw tip that has uh, less grab. So it's a very controlled install, which is nice. The procurement process with SFS was beyond easy. Working with a supplier that makes it very easy on my end is way better for me to sleep at night. We had to procure these rods from Europe and I'm always concerned about lead time. And working with Dan, it was a very easy process. We ordered the material in late December on kind of a short notice and he was great in helping us get it procured here, put on air freight and in our hands way before we needed it. Throughout the course of the project, we actually had to repurchase some material. We needed additional supplies. Dan had already pre-procured this material, so it wasn't even a problem from getting it from Europe. It was, we just need to ship it from their warehouse out to Oregon, which I thought was just immaculate. I didn't have to worry about the eight to 12 week lead time on a product. Yeah, the flexibility in having the pre-cut lengths or to have you know a 10 foot rod that you can cut to any length is really helpful um, with some with some beams that may have a different depths throughout the beam. So you're, we have some rods that we were installing that were six feet long. We had some that were four foot ten. So we, we having that flexibility and being able to cut those rods to the desired length uh, helped out a lot with the engineer. He really appreciated that that ability to have that adjustment where we're able to really tune in to keep it an inch and a half away from the top, an inch and a half away from the bottom, and be able to really have that flexibility. It makes it much more simple. Yeah, my overall experience working with SFS um, through the engineering process, through the install kind of guidance that we were able to get through was really helpful. You know, there was a couple days where I made multiple phone calls like, am I doing this right? Or is there another way to do this? Or what happens if this happens? So it was, you know, the response was really, really great. The number one takeaway I have from my experience with SFS, the ease of communication, whether it was email or it was me sending a text and getting a response back really fast because everything now I feel like is urgent answers. And they were always responsive. Dan was always responsive. The process with him procuring the material for us was so easy and procuring the correct tools. Overall, it was, I've learned so much and I would love to communicate and work more with SFS.